All right, so this is gonna be a quick video. I haven't made a video in like two months. And the reason is because of engine problems. So, um, when I first got the car, a couple weeks in, it started like a rough idling. Um, I kind of ignored it. And then it, took, it got to a point where I would go to a red light and I'll sit there for a couple seconds. Um, this over here would like go up and down. Sorry, my hands are actually, I was just doing something. But um, that pointer would go up and down between like 1K and 1.5K RPM, go up and down, car would shake. And if I didn't um, let the car roll, then it would just, um, it would cut off and I have to restart the car. And I've been having an issue for like, I had that issue for like a couple weeks. And I decided to take it in the Ford. Now, um, I did do a little research, this and that. I was hearing people say, oh, it's the solenoids. And that's and um, that seemed like the most um, logical answer. But um, I went to Ford. The first thing they said was, okay, well, um, one of your, one of your um, spark plugs are messed up. So it's probably spark plugs. And they were like, oh, $700 for us to replace spark plugs. So I was like, nah, I'll take it. So I took it back and I installed the spark plugs myself. The problem did not stop there. Um, took it back to Ford. Ford said, okay, um, not the spark plugs. So it must be the fuel injector. Um, like one particular, I think on the, I think it was on the like cylinder seven. So cylinder seven um, fuel injector. So they got that in, installed it, blah, 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 got the car back, drove around for like a day, next day, call them back, hey, still have the same issue. So by that point, um, the Ford dealership that I took it to, they didn't know, they didn't, they didn't know the um, problem. So what they did was they submitted the ticket to Ford Engineering directly. So Ford sent them a technician and they took apart my engine and basically it was um there's a small hole maybe the size of a quarter like a chunk in my um in the head that was missing out so um they replaced that that took like two weeks for them to replace that put that in came back got the car got a huge packet from ford as you can see all this uh, Stuff right here, cylinder head, blah, 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 replace the gaskets, intake manifold, blah, blah, blah. The inspections and whatnot on that. Um, replace the... Oh, they have the antifreeze on here. They have the oil. They replace the oil. Stuff like that. A bunch of gaskets, tube assemblies, and things of that nature I haven't went that far in this packet to be honest uh blah blah this isn't really yeah spark book spec the cylinder installed spark test on cylinder 7 spark present blah blah inspected all the plugs plugs okay and yeah that's basically the thing um, I only made this video because there's not too many videos about this, and I would assume that there is a decent amount of people that would want to have a video on this to, like I would, you know what I'm saying? So, what I would do is basically what they did, is if you don't have a warranty, try the spark plugs, try the fuel injectors, if those don't work, then there's a deeper issue, um... Could be a solo noise, could be a cylinder head, it could be something like that, like an internal, like a bigger issue. Um, I had this car back for what two, two and a half weeks now. Um, the only issue I've had recently was um, code P0430, and that's a cylinder, um, it's a cylinder thing. I forgot what, what exactly what actually, I think I have a paper back here. I still have it. 
don't know if I still have the, because I went to, I went to AutoZone. Okay, so this is, this is the one that, that like, I looked for the, that had the misfire on it. The P0300, um, random misfire detected, stuff like that. Um. All right, so here's the catalytic converter one. That is the uh, P0430 catalyst system efficiency below the threshold bank two. So what I've done for that, um, I got a bottle of Cata Clean because that seemed like it was doing decent. This clean, this cleans out your cats, um, fuel injectors, oxygen systems, and cylinder heads. So I did that yesterday put that in here uh drove around for a little bit and then i refilled today so, and i had the the check engine light code um cleared so we'll see if that comes back or not the reason why there's a problem with the cats i'm guessing is because of the misfires the misfires could um basically destroy your cats so that's just a byproduct of the having the misfires and whatever else. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna see if that check engine light comes back. I recently found out that uh, there is like a couple year, like I think an eight year, um, 100k mile thing for catalytic converters that um, you just take it back and forth and now just replace your catalytic converters. Um, the reason why I'm not outside is because it's kind of windy outside. I don't know if you guys can hear me on the phone mic, so that's why. But yeah, I haven't had this car two months. It's been long two months. Just cleaned it. Um, there's all the papers and stuff back there. Sponge and whatever else. But yeah, if you have an engine problems, um, you can DM me on Instagram. You can um, leave a comment. I'm pretty good at... Um, responding to those so if you have any questions comments concerns about this if you have the same issue let me know and uh yeah see you guys later